morning, good afternoon, good whatever time it is, wherever you are at right now. I hope that you are having an amazing day. Welcome back to the City Boy Diesel YouTube channel. Today, getting rid of some chrome. Not all of it. We're going to start working through the truck piece by piece. So make sure you jump down, hit the subscribe button, so that way you can follow along as we get rid of all of the chrome on this truck. Today, we're going to be doing the window trim that runs in between the windows and the body. We're going to be blacking that out with some two-inch vinyl that we've got off Amazon. 25-foot roll is going to be more than enough. Came with a squeegee and a knife and everything else. So let's get out to the truck and let's get started. We're out at the truck and the first thing that we need to do is get the surface good and clean. We use isopropyl alcohol. This is just going to get off all the wax and grease and grime, fingerprints. Give us a good adhesion. To get up underneath of this trim right here, we're going to put it on a paper towel because it's nice and thin. Get our Costco card. A lot of dirt in there. That's going to affect the adhesion of the film. Go through dry. Now we're going to take some masking tape. Put down along the rubber seal. This is going to keep the film from sticking to the body of the truck, making it easier to move around. But also, give me a line to work from. Take our vinyl, pair of scissors, measure it out. We're going to cut it, give ourselves a little excess. Peel off the backing paper. I like starting at the far edge over here and working backwards towards this more complex shape. Peeling off as we go. We have the basic shape in. Now we're just going to press it in with our fingers. That wrinkle is not a big deal because we can pop the film off. Keep pushing. You can go ahead and roll the top edge over. We're going to take our Costco card and we're going to pick all this up off of the tape so that it moves freely. And then we're just going to slowly and gently 
squeegee into the gasket. Go back the other way. Now that we have this pretty much set the way that we want it, we just need to go ahead and tack it and finish it in place. Going to give it a little bit of heat. Going to work this corner right here. Just get a little bit of stretch on the film. Working it in with my finger to where it needs to be. That took shape real nice. Now we're just gonna run our gun down along the bottom here and it'll suck all that film in because that's where we told it we wanted it to go. Take our squeegee. Work it up in there a little bit more. Now we have to work this area here in. Take the provided knife that came with the uh, kit off of Amazon. Leave the tension in the film right there. And then we're just gonna find this gasket and gently trim. Now that we have this shape pretty much the way we want it, we need to work this back with the heat gun so that way we can tuck it in and get full coverage over top of that piece. Apply a little heat and tuck. Heat and tuck. Heat. We're gonna do the same thing for right here. Now we're just gonna ever so gently trim it on the high side. Now we're gonna take some heat and run along this top edge here, just to make sure we get this film set back in tight. Gonna lay the knife flat with the point in as deep as I can get it.
Cut that up and out. Now we just need to trim this end cap here. Make sure it's pushed in real good with your fingernail. And then peel it back. Take the masking tape off. Hit it with the heat gun and the squeegee just to make sure it's locked in place. All right, so that's it. We wrapped one window trim with the gloss black vinyl, went ahead and did the other three off camera, and I tell you, it took me probably about an hour and a half. First time I've ever done any vinyl wrap. It was daunting, but it completely transformed the look of this vehicle. Uh, really brought it to what I want it to look at like. Is there other ways that we could have achieved this goal? Yes, GM sells gloss black window trims, they're about $80 a window. Plus you have to take the inner door panel off of uh, all doors to get them unclipped. Just not worth the uh, effort to me. I could have got it painted. But again, I have to take the window trim off the vehicle, meaning I have to take the inner door panel off. I am very happy with the way this project turned out. Uh, my wife is extremely happy with it, so much so that she wants it done on her car now. What do you guys think? Was it worth the effort? Let me know down in the comments below. Did you like it black? Did you like it chrome? Let me know. Since you guys have came along on this ride with me this far, make sure you check out this video right here. Or this video right here. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.